Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you're into 3D printing, photography and drones, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. It's gonna be a very fast video today. I just found out that on Cheetobox, the pro version on my Mac, finally released today. You can use your Nova 3D printer. I've updated the link of the profile settings for the machine. You will find all the links in the description. They're directly from my Google Drive that I'm sharing with you. So this will also apply for the Shito Box free version. Let's roll the intro first and let me drive you through the configuration and the setting up of this printer. Okay, here we are. As you can see, Cheeto Box Pro has a different interface, but the first thing you need to do is to download the profile settings, the CFG files, and the plugin from the link in the description. It's a zip file. Once you unzip it, you will see slicing parameters and the Nova 3D plugin 1.0.4. Okay, so. Second thing we need to do, we need to go inside the folder of the application. I'm using a Mac. Mac. Under the resource file, in a, we'll find another folder called resource and then another folder called machine. In this uh, folder, we will need to copy all the, uh, the slicing parameters we had already downloaded. So we copy all of them. Now we're ready to open Cheeto Box Pro. Once it's open, we can click on settings and here is plugin. Once we click here, we can click on import plugin and we select the plugin file that we found here. It's a document file, it's called Nova 3D plugin 1.0.4. We click open and the plugin is in. We can close the window and now what will happen on the right here you will see profile plus and there's import profile. We click on import profile and we select all the slicing parameters to have them here and start working on the selected Nova 3D printer that we have available. Once the slicing process is finished, you can easily select your output. As you can see here, you can there's many Nova 3D printer. I have a mono, so I'm clicking on the mono, even if it's telling that it's not supported, it will anyway export the file. That was all for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video and it was useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button if you did like the video, and I'll see you guys on the next video.